Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So for today's video, I wanted to discuss are Amazon FBA courses worth it? So some may say that because we live in such a digital age in which any information can be accessed within lightning speed seconds, that courses are not worth it because you can find so much material within YouTube, through blogs, through articles and whatnot. However, because there's so much multiple resources through the internet, it can often be time consuming to find and answers to a question because there's just so much information out there. It can often be information overload. However, if you're more time conscious, then you know a course would be more worthwhile because you have one resource that you can resort to for all the up-to-date accurate information. That is if you did your research to, you know, select a good course, of course. You know, some courses out there are gonna be scams. So, you know, obviously there's two sides to this approach and it also really depends on how you view courses. Are you someone who likes more of a structured approach and just want one resource that you can resort to for accurate information? Or do you like hearing multiple insights and, you know, love to, you know, research on your own? So all depend on you as well. I'm also going to be sharing my insights as to whether, you know, a course is worth it or not. But I also wanted to do a breakdown as to the pros and cons if an Amazon FBA course is worth it and if it fits your needs as to what you're looking for when pursuing your Amazon business journey. So let's take a more in-depth look as to the pros and cons and I'll see you guys in the next section. Hey guys, before I get started with the breakdown, I do want to put out there that I do not have an Amazon FBA course or am promoting an Amazon FBA course. Um, the reason I don't is because I'm already putting out content on YouTube. So I feel like if I were to make a course, it would already just be a regurgitation of what I have on YouTube. Um, so there's no hidden agenda for me to promote my course here. This is going to be more of an unbiased and impartial point of view on what I think about Amazon FBA courses. So just wanted to include that in there. Alrighty guys, so let's talk about some pros associated with an Amazon FBA course. So the first thing that we can discuss is that courses are going to be more in depth. So what I mean by this is that oftentimes gurus that are promoting their Amazon FBA course, they're doing so because there's a lot more value to them. So for example, they'll probably have more templates to, you know, whether it's a template to you know, contact a supplier, they'll provide a template that you can utilize or emulate um, to contact a supplier. There's probably more PDFs, so worksheets that can help you, you know, with a product research method or to find a product product or just a lot more illustrations to really make a topic more clear. So they're going to provide a lot more valuable resources and they're a lot more in depth. Um, so that's a huge advantage already because the information that you're often getting from YouTube or from Google, oftentimes that can be superficial information enough for you to just get a better understanding of the topic. Um, and so oftentimes when you're just getting superficial information, that's not going to benefit you in the long run. You need to know more of the hidden details in order to be successful in something. So it's like the tip of an iceberg. You're seeing what you need to see, but underneath there's a lot more hidden. And those are probably the most important aspects of information that you need in order to be successful. So that's one huge pro to a course. Um, another pro is that a course provides a step-by-step -step process. So if you're the type of person who often needs, you know, hands-on-hand -hand guidance and something that's more clear and more direct, then a course is great because it'll often provide an A to Z process in order to be successful at something such as business. So it's a lot more steps that are going to be more in depth because even though you can find the answer to any question on YouTube or Google, oftentimes it's basic level information enough for you to understand the concept but when it comes to applying the knowledge then you're going to need you know that step-by-step -step process to guide you uh, in a more correct manner. Another pro is you can often get mentorship through courses so I think mentoring is such a valuable uh, service when it comes to courses because especially when someone is successful um, within their Amazon business and they're able to buy that mentorship, they're going to tell you what mistakes to avoid. I think this is one thing I regret about not taking a legitimate course is not getting the mentorship from someone who has already gone through the Amazon business process and kind of fully understands um, the business. Because when you have that mentorship, you can really avoid costly mistakes. They're going to be the ones to tell you like, hey, that's not going to work. You have to avoid that. Or this is what you need to do exactly and th that idea you had in mind is 
not the best way to go about it. They're going to tell you what's wrong, what's right, and guide you to a more, you know, less costly route compared to like when you're doing it on your own or getting, you know, information from elsewhere. So mentorship is so valuable and oftentimes through mentorship, you can get product validation, like the mentor will often, you know, validate that product that you want to sell on Amazon. They'll be like, hey, this is going to work. This is not going to work. And that's going to save you so much money in the long term. Um, obviously, you want a mentor that is you know successful at what they've done and have the evidence that they are you know the seller they say they are so this is a huge benefit when it comes to courses another pro is that it's usually created by someone who has successfully gone through the process oftentimes when you want to take a course by someone you want to make sure that person um, has the right knowledge and you want to make sure that person has also gone through that process and I think that's a huge benefit to courses is that oftentimes it's being promoted by pe people who have gone through the process I'm not saying all courses are you know legitimate but um, you know if you do the proper research and you find that the person has gone through the process that's really valuable information to you because you're getting information that's worked for that particular person that has gone through the process and now you can utilize those pieces of information to avoid any mistakes because that person has gone through the process. So it's, you know, credibility. You get the credibility of knowing that, you know, that person has gotten success and they're going to share that success with you through the information they're providing through their course. And another thing about courses is that oftentimes you will get forever access. So this is huge because oftentimes when you have that forever access, the mentor or the guru of the course will provide up-to-date information and they will give you that access to the course for a lifetime. Oftentimes when you're purchasing a course, that's something that they're going to advocate for, that you get lifetime access to that information. So you can always go back to that resource when you need help with something or if you need to review anything, you can always go back, review, and making sure you're doing something uh, in a correct way. So great benefit to uh, Amazon FBA courses is lifetime access. And so also with the course, it's very much valuable when you're purchasing something. So for example, if you are, you know, getting information from Google or from another source and it's free, oftentimes we're not going to value that information as much as when we're paying a course, you know, you're investing your hard working money towards something, towards a class or course, and you're going to value it more because you spent your hard earning money on an item that is going to benefit you in the long run, right? Obviously, you have to put in the work as well, but it's been proven to show that, you know, if you are investing in something, um, you know, making a monetization investment into or in something, then obviously you're going to view that as more valuable compared to something where you got it for free. So people take courses a lot more seriously compared to information that they find on their own through or through free means, obviously. All right, guys, now let's talk about some cons associated with an Amazon FBA course. So the first con that I wanted to bring up is that there could be a, potentially a lot of scam courses out there. So, for example, when you are searching out an Amazon FBA course, there might be a lot of gurus out there that are, you know, flaunting their fake wealth, their fake Lamborghini in order to lure you in to purchase their course. Those are often the courses that you want to avoid and choosing the right course will often just be based on your proper research. You want to make sure that you're going for a course in which the seller, you know, has a reputation with the Amazon community as being successful. You know, that seller has had podcasts with either Helium 10 or Jungle Scout or, you know, are showcasing their Amazon selling journey and, you know, possibly how many earnings they're possibly receiving. And um, do they have good reviews? Do they have good feedback from their students? So you really have to take these pieces of criteria into consideration when selecting a great course because even though there are some great courses out there, there are also a lot of, you know, courses that are just fake and just don't provide valuable in-depth information. So really do your proper research on selecting a great course. 
Another con associated with Amazon FBA courses is that oftentimes they can be really expensive. So I have noticed courses that can go up to $5,000, which is so crazy in itself. Oftentimes these sellers that are selling the course are saying that it's going to be worth the investment because oftentimes you'll be making around five to 10 times than what the course was worth. That is if you know you follow the course correctly and through my mentorship that they often promote is that you will be just getting a really good ROI uh, despite the overly expensive course. So if you're truly on a budget and these expensive courses are just not within your budget range, then obviously I would probably resort to more of, you know, either YouTube or Google for information. But do keep in mind, there are also courses out there that are not outrageously expensive and are doable for your budget. Another con is that oftentimes courses will provide a singular perspective. So when you are pursuing an Amazon FBA course through a certain seller, oftentimes that seller will just provide how they did things and how they were able to be successful through their own method. However, as we know, there are multiple methods of you know being successful. Just because one method worked for a certain seller, that does not mean your method of selling is not going to work. So if you're a person that just enjoys Ways, you know multiple ways of achieving success rather than just like a singular way of doing things then maybe a course is not for you because you're just going to get that singular perspective from that seller of how they went about their selling journey and how this method got them the success to where they are today and another con is that a course will be useless if you're not able to take action yourself. A course is simply providing the guidance for you and the resource for you to really, you know, chase after your goals. It's providing all that information you need. And now you're going to have to apply that information, such as, you know, making your Amazon account, finding that product, um, reaching out to suppliers. You're going to have to take the action on your end. We're just simply providing that helping hand to get to where you are. But it also is dependent on your determination and how badly you want to create a successful business. So if you're a person that's expecting some ROI just because you purchased a course, then it's not going to be a good fit for you because you obviously also have to take the action associated with a course. And so another con associated with Amazon FBA course is that oftentimes they can be a copy of what the seller already has on YouTube, or they can just be regurgitated information from what's, you know, multiply said on YouTube or Google. So oftentimes courses, you know, may or may not have that in-depth information, but then again, that's also something you're gonna to have to do in regards to research. You really want to read the reviews as to whether the information provided in that course was you know, very in depth and had a lot more than just superficial level information. Um, again, it comes through to research and there's gonna be bad courses and good courses at the end of the day. So now that you guys received the breakdown for pros and cons regarding an Amazon FBA course, I also wanted to talk about my perspective and my insight as to whether an Amazon FBA course is worth it. Again, this is really based on a personal decision, but I also wanted to provide you guys what I went through in regards to my experience. As someone who was more on a budget-friendly side of things when starting my business, I wanted to utilize Google and YouTube for pieces of information in regards to my business. I thought I could basically research any question I had in mind and find the answer to it. Even though that was true, I did find the answers to my questions. I was spending a lot of time just researching and watching numerous videos just to find the accurate answer to my questions. However, if I had a course or a mentorship, I could have saved so much more time in regards to the pieces of information I needed. Remember that a course can oftentimes provide the A to Z step-by-step -step process in a more accurate manner. And of course, you have a mentor that has gone through the process to really validate the information you are looking for. So that's definitely my regrets because I made some costly mistakes and to me, time is money. If I were to resort to a course, a legitimate course, and of course, I would have saved so much more time and so much more money in regards to my actual business. For me, I like to get things started and to put myself out there to hop on an opportunity. However, because I spent so much time researching, I was basically losing money because I couldn't do this opportunity faster, if that makes sense. 
all right guys so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i really hope you enjoyed the breakdown and just my perspective on courses as well um if you enjoyed it please give it a like and i'll see you guys in the next video